Hello. Uh, this video I want to uh, start where I left off in uh, video number three and video number five. And uh, but first I want to kind of recap where uh, I've been uh, for new people who might be watching this video first. So in the in the first video, what I did was I built the the basic bio cell and discharged it and let it uh, self recharge several times without applying any external charge to it just to, to show that it is a self-charging battery. Now in video two then uh, we added a second positive plate and connected them in uh, connected them together and created a capacitor on top of the battery and uh, but the it, the battery wouldn't charge the capacitor it just would I, I showed that it self-charged again but it only just charged the battery and would not charge the capacitor okay and then in the fourth video I uh, got some uh, fuel uh, cell membrane ion transfer membrane from um, from fuel cell earth and I made a battery just out of this membrane and a piece of graphite and water which is even it's the same principle as this but it's even simpler you know and uh, this stuff is pretty amazing stuff and I'll be having more um, videos about tests I do on this but um, and I know there's people going to say well why don't you just give up the titanium dioxide and, and use uh, use this stuff and you can't do that because it's very expensive I mean this is a uh, this is a membrane number 115 Nafion, and it's five mils thick and it's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and just that little piece right there cost uh, with shipping cost 60 bucks. And uh, let's say I'm going to build a cell this size. It's going to be take uh, four or five of those to do this, so. You know that's it that means one cell is going to cost you 250 bucks or more and if you had needed a 12 volt battery multiply that out and then if you and that's only maybe one amp and if you wanted a bunch of amps on it then you got to stack a bunch of them up in the, in the parallel so you get more amps and then you got uh, a lot of money so you can't afford that and this is way cheaper it, less than a tenth, less than five percent of the cost probably. And I'll prove that but I'll because I'll, I'll build a big stack of these and uh, and show you how much it costs. Okay, so that's that was video four. In video five then we did an air uh, interaction test and I built uh, a uh, battery capacitor cell, this one right here, and then uh, discharged it and, and you saw it charge up and then I sealed it up and I then I tested the battery off camera uh, discharged it a bunch of times and, and let it charge up to see if it quit alright I'm back damn camera keeps shutting off on me I never know whether I'm going to have one minute or, or ten minutes alright uh, like I said this battery here uh, when I closed it up and, and tested it, it, it definitely died. And so, but the, the good news is uh, you can bring them back. And I did that by opening the bag, of course, and separating the plates so that some air could get in there. And uh, and it, it started coming back immediately. And it didn't, didn't come back instantly back, but it started building up. And I added some water to it, and that helped it along. Now, uh, where it's at right now, it has 8 milliliters of water in it. and um, it's nowhere near saturated. I mean, you could turn it upside down for an hour and it wouldn't have anything drop out of it. So, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, kill this battery for you here again. I've, I've uh, re, uh, revived it, and, but, and, and it's, but it's not as strong as it was before. It started off at 1.01 .01 volts and now it's uh, around 93 or so. But before I kill it, I want to um, uh, test and see if sealing it up uh, uh, helped the capacitor on it. Because uh, when I first made it, it was an open cell and it, 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 it wanted to charge up, but it would slowly leak the, the power away. And I wanted to see if putting it 
uh, in this bag to stop that leakage. So I'm going to do that real fast here. Get a voltmeter out. And I've got a battery and a couple of cables over here. Charge it and then test it again. So that's the positive side. The two positives hooked together here and the negative is over here. And you can see it's 0.96, so it's lost 0.05 uh, uh, volts. Okay. And now we will throw some juice to it. This is a new 9 volt battery, so we're just going to give it like 5 10 seconds or something. Let's see if it's got any juice and see if it holds it. Okay. There we go. And now we are at, yes, 2 210, and it started at 214, I think. It's still leaking it off though, although not as fast. Last time it uh, almost stopped at around 140. So now we're at 172, slowly dropping. So it's uh, it's improved, but it's still leaking energy away. Okay, uh, now, now, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I, I don't know, so I'm not going to say. Uh, now I want to uh, discharge the thing again and, and kill it for you, so you can see what happens there. Let me switch over here to 200 milliamps and we'll throw it on there. hope you can see that meter good. Alright, let's short it out now. And again, 90, ooh, it climbed to 93 uh, milliamps. You can see it, it actually, that was better than it was uh, to begin with. I think it was only uh, 50 milliamps or something before. And look at this, it's, it's still draining down. So that's uh, it's like actually stronger than it was before, Mil I mean, amps wise. Although it's not uh, holding like it was before. When I first tested this battery, it dropped down to, I don't know, to a low and it held there, and it's starting to hold. But now it's at this, yeah, not quite holding. Not like it did before. So they probably did some damage to, to the plates or some corrosion or something. I don't know why there's no acids or anything in it. So. There, we got a hole now at 12. Uh, I've been there for a moment. Uh, but this is pretty good for a dead short. I mean, you got to admit, I mean, that thing should have dropped down to zero pretty quick. And hell, we've been, what, a minute or so now, and we're still at 11.32 milliamps. And so there's a long dead short, and, and now it should, it'll recharge some, but it won't charge all the way back up. It'll be less this time. We'll put it on the milli volts over here now, so you can see the recharge on it. And it's back up to 62 and climbing. But it, it'll stop, I don't know, probably at 90 or something. We won't take it quite that high because uh, it'll take a couple of minutes to get it as high as it goes. It's still climbing pretty fast, up to 74, 75. Yeah, 
see it's starting to slow down. It's only up to 70, 179 volts. And it's 80. Alright, so let's short it out again rather than wait for another minute or so for it to get all the way up. Alright, here we go. Now we're see if we start max voltage started at 37 milliamps that time. But it should still hold around the same. A little lower probably. No, it's going to drop right through the 12 this time. As I said, we've lost the hold to it. But you can see that that's already gone. I'm just trying to hold now at 10 around. There's 10. Now we're below 10 and it's real slow drop. Alright, so there's another real long dead short and let's watch it recharge itself again and this time it'll be a little worse all right so we're up to 50 and see it's, it's climbing but not as fast as it was i think the last time it jumped to 60 real fast and it ain't even 260 yet third hand, I put an infrared thermometer on that and you could see the temperature go up and down as I charge and discharge this, but I ain't got a third hand and I ain't going to hold it in my mouth. So anyway, so we're up to 70 and it's still climbing. Not as fast though. We'll just take it to 80 and then hit it again. It's hard to suffocate this sucker, but you can, you can do it. Uh, see, it's really starting to slow down a little more now. And we're not even to 80 yet. I'll try to discharge it again now. And you'll see that it'll, the amps will be even lower. Alright, here we go. So, oh, I over climbed. This time, it's, I must not have had a great connection. But they climbed up a little bit this time and then came back down. So, we're almost down below 10 already. Alright. Okay, so you can see this. It's losing, uh, it's losing its gusto. Although it's trying to hang on. Down to 8.7 and hanging. Oh, 8.6. Alright, I'm going to show one more time. Let's see it go a little slower yet. So, but this is what it takes to, to kill one of these things. So, uh, so it needs to be open, but I, it, it's using so little oxygen at a time that uh, I think it just needs some pinholes or something would be fine. So we're uh, 0.55 volts and climbing.